shook it up. Bailey. Bailey. Good morning. Good morning, Roxy. <laughs> Good morning, lovely people. As you can see, we have doggies on the sofa, which can only mean that we are unsupervised. So I am in my dressing gown. It is 9 a.m. Fed the dogs. I just about to make a coffee. I had the best intentions today of getting up early, taking these out for a walk, um, being dressed by the time I started to record. But last night, unfortunately, through no fault of my own, I had the worst night's sleep ever. I was just having nightmares. I'd left the window open, so the blind was banging against the window. I, oh, just, it was just not a good night's sleep. And um, I went to bed like I always do, had my, my nighttime cup of tea. Um, you can get them from, uh, it's a special kind of blend of tea that's meant to help you sleep. Um, I took 5-HTP, which is meant to also help you sleep. Um, and my sleep actually hasn't been bad, so uh, I wasn't expecting to have a bad night's sleep. And I, I eventually woke up at, got up at 3 a.m., went to the loo, closed the window, um, got my phone because I was convinced like someone was breaking into the house, you know, and you just freak yourself out. So I just had myself completely frightened and um, because Lex isn't here, obviously, so I think I just get a bit scared and it is quite windy. So that's probably why there was all the noise. But uh, yeah, I had myself completely scared and having nightmares and stuff. So I, I was awake from about three until half three. And eventually I got back to sleep, but um, I didn't have a very good night's sleep, so woke up with a headache, which is always nice. And um, now I'm sat with the dogs in my, my nighty instead of being dressed. Today, I actually wanted to record a really positive vlog about what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks, about being mindful, about being positive, about manifesting what you want from life, all these kind of things that I've been practicing. And then, it's not that my bad night's sleep ruined it, but it kind of has tainted it. So I'm going to put into place all of my practices about positivity and about seeing the positive. So although I have had a bad night's sleep, I could sit here and complain about it. I could complain about the fact that I've got a headache, but instead I took a paracetamol for my headache. Uh, I've drank some water, I'm making a coffee, I'm up, I'm going to go and get dressed in a bit. Um, I've got beautiful dogs that I'm thankful for. Uh, I have a lovely house that's lovely and clean because I have no Lex here to mess it up. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a pleasant day, it's a bit windy. So what do I have to complain about? Nothing. So yeah, I think, yeah, we just have to start looking at the bright side of life. I even said it to my friends that when we meet up, um, we're not allowed to meet up and just complain and complain and complain because I think we have a tendency to do that just generally as people. We meet up with our friends and we offload our negativity to make ourselves feel better but you know maybe we should start putting out some positivity say oh my husband's so messy but he's here and you know he's with me and like be like that and um, like oh my kids are so loud but I have beautiful children. Just think about it that way. And um, yeah, try and be more focused on what you have than what you don't have. And then maybe you'll have more because you'll enjoy it more. But I'm gonna go and have my coffee now because I love my morning coffee and I love my doggies. And we like to have morning cuddles, don't we girls? Yeah, we like to have the morning cuddles. And um, this is my kind of peaceful time, but I wanted to start off the vlog. And I am going to take you through my day. I am going to do a bit of a workout. I actually took last week off. I look, I took last week off training, not because I was lazy, not because I was sore, just because I wanted to. And um, now today, like actually even yesterday, I was ready to get back 
to doing some exercise. Like I have been exercising, I'm still walking and doing a bit of cardio, but just not training. And yesterday I, I wanted to get back to it and I was like, no, you're going to take this week off and you're going to start fresh on Monday. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to take you through my day as I go, um, as I put on my makeup. And I'm very much looking forward to getting my hair cut next week. Because hairdressers are back next week. My beautiful friend Bex is going to be doing my hair. I'm uh, going to go for a bit of a change. I'm going to take it a little bit lighter. Not blonde, but definitely going to get some lightness through my hair. Cancel out the greys. And um, pub's open next week, so I've already booked a table for me and my girls to go celebrate birthdays and everything else that we need to celebrate. And Lex will be back tomorrow. So it's all good. We're all positive. And I have now TV in my life, which is the best invention ever. So, nothing to complain about here. Hopefully by the time I get back to recording, I'll have showered and my headache will be gone. Yay! I am showered, I put some makeup on, I did my hair, I'm feeling far better now. The headache has lifted, thank you paracetamol. And um, I'm gonna nip downstairs now in a few minutes to have um, some coffee and some breakfast and then do some exercise before I go out to do a few jobs out and about. I have to go to the post office, etc. So, right now I'm gonna do a quick physique update because I haven't done one in ages and over the course of lockdown, um, I'm sure a lot of you who follow me on Instagram have noticed that I've kept up with my training. I've been doing IG lives of my training and they're all there that you can follow in real time with me. Um, they're all up on my IGTV, so go check them out if you want to. So I've kept up with my training. I've been um, intuitively eating, so just eating for my hunger and um, trying to make sure that I get enough um, micronutrients in, taking in enough protein to sustain my muscle while I'm not in the gym. And it seems to be working. I've dropped some fat um, without even really trying, but I think it's just because I haven't been going out for food. Um, obviously I've been cooking everything from scratch at home. So I think that's really helped. And because I haven't been out and about and around the place, I feel like I've been more um, in tune with my hunger and um, eating a kind of more regimented times because when obviously the shops are open and I'm out doing things I tend to kind of forget meals and then get hungry whereas while I'm here uh, I have pretty much a good little timetable going and um, it's just been better for my eating and just for my well-being in general. So I'm going to do my quick physique update to show you what I'm looking at. I weighed in at uh, just under £115 today. So over the course of lockdown, I think I've lost about, I, I have weighed in at £111, but I felt it was a bit too light. So I increased my food for the past two weeks, making sure that I was getting in some extra calories because I don't like to feel too skinny um because none of my clothes fit me so i've been eating a little bit more i've put on a couple of pounds which is great and um now um i'm going to just show you what i'm looking like and i feel like i look really good i feel really good uh, i have a very positive outlook and mindset and i'm feeling good about my body so here it is Now lunchtime, I've been out, I've done my few little jobs around town, I'm having a smoothie. Mm. I always put collagen in my smoothie because it just helps my digestion, helps with my skin, keeps me looking young. Next I am going to go and do some cardio and then I'm going to do some kind of workout. As I said, I haven't worked out in a week. Um, almost feeling a little bit lazy, but I did want to work out yesterday, but I chose to take a week off. If you haven't noticed, I have this really cute little necklace, and if you're a fan of Sex in the City, you'll see that. It's kind of like the Carrie necklace, and um, I got it from a company. It was gifted to me. Um, it's 
sterling silver so it's not going to tarnish i've worn it all week and it's just a really nice length up high and um i'm going to link them down below they're called julia and um the more you buy the more you save i've discount codes so if you're into this for yourself or maybe for a friend i think you can also get them in gold but i always wear silver so just check it out down below i'm gonna go finish my super thick smoothie and then um do some cardio and do a workout go Where's Bailey Steady? Where's Bailey Steady? Oh. oh, here's Bailey. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got Bailey Steady! I got Bailey Steady too! <laughs> completed a half an hour on my stepper which is just here I keep it in the lounge just so I can't avoid it and now I'm gonna just do a quick workout of some kind not really feeling super motivated even though I was really looking forward to the workout but I'm gonna do something just to get the blood flowing and hopefully my motivation will come as I go so enjoy Currently 7.30. I've got some How I Met Your Mother on in the background. I love re-watching old um, sitcoms. I've got a glass of rosé. I've done my cardio. I've done some training. It wasn't the best workout ever, but I did something. I got moving. So I've got some pasta made and I've got a cheesy chicken breast in the oven. Roxy's here. Bailey's in her bed. Um, once I eat my food, have my glass of wine, I'm going to take them out for a W, I can't say the word because they know it and they'll go crazy, but I'll take them out uh, for a little wander and then I'll just find something to watch on TV. Today I was pretty much quite anxious all afternoon, um, my anxiety was playing up and I think it's just because I'm alone in the house and I don't really like being on my own that much, like I am quite happy with my own company but then at the same time when I have extended periods where I don't see anyone, like have human contact, I just start feeling a bit strange. So yeah, I got that kind of overwhelming, oh my God, I'm alone in the world kind of feeling today. But tomorrow I'm gonna to be out and about, Lex is back tomorrow afternoon, hopefully. Um, I've already planned a nice meal for us. And then at the weekend, the pubs are reopening. So um, I've already booked to go out with my friends and see them and hopefully get my hair done this weekend. So it's all good. The world is returning to normal. My anxiety will start to reduce hopefully. And you know what? I dealt with my anxiety. I kind of addressed it, 
realised what was causing it, that I'm sat alone overthinking everything and stressing about stuff that I don't need to. So that is one thing that you should do. If you're feeling anxious, look and ask yourself and your, your anxiety questions. Ask why you're anxious, whether it's reasonable, what you can do to um, get over it and get over feeling overwhelmed. And I'm already feeling a lot better. I got up, I did my exercise, I um, watched some like funny TV shows, which always cheers me up. Comedy always makes me feel better. So if you feel like you're feeling down, just put up some stand-up comedy or some sitcoms, some friends, anything, and then just feel better about yourself. And um, yeah, make a nice meal, gonna eat that, have my glass of wine, it's all good, it's all good. I am very proud of the dinner I created. It's like a cheesy chicken and tomato pasta thing, and I'm going to really enjoy that. And then take my little mutts out to a field where they can poop. In the meantime, I'm going to eat my food, watch some comedy, entertain myself. That's all you can do. Have you been on a walk? Have you been out for your walk and done your poops? And got a treat? Yes, you have. So stop begging. They want this. It's very dark, sorry. But this is my dessert concoction, which is strawberries, high protein yogurt from Aldi, topped with some protein muesli and almond butter. And uh, this is what I've been having after dinner to quench my sweet tooth along with a Pepsi Max cherry. So I'm gonna have this, watch some TV and go to bed. Today is Tuesday. I went to bed early last night, had an early night, slept straight through, feels so much better. And just like I said yesterday, addressing my anxieties and how I was feeling yesterday, um, just really relaxed me and I felt so much better about it. And it can be that simple that if you're feeling stressed, you just address why you're feeling stressed and try and get past it and live in the moment. Like if you're worrying about what's happening in a year's time, why? Just stay focused on today and what's happening today. It's okay to be a little bit stressed out about things that are happening on the day. That's fine, but you deal with it. Don't let it paralyze you. Don't let it bring down your vibe. Put out positive energy and get it back. It's that simple. So I just wanted to say, goodbye and thank you for watching and leave this vlog on a positive note and i hope you all um have a lovely week i hope you all get moving in some way five minutes of exercise is better than nothing and i hope that um i will see you all again very soon for another vlog from me and from the puppies goodbye and i'll see you soon Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they be hating on me.